Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome back to the Fangoria Movie Challenge. This is the segment I've been doing with my good buddy, Joe the Horror Man, where we're not only going to watch, but also review all 101 movies Fangoria thinks we should have seen. Today, we're going to be talking about Jack's Back. Jack's Back is a 1988 film, which runs approximately 97 minutes. And is written and directed by Rowdy Harrington. Now he was responsible for Roadhouse, Striking Distance, and The Stick Up. Now this stars James Spader as John. He was in The New Kids, Tough Turf, and Bad Influence. Cynthia Gibb as Chris Mascari. She was in Youngblood, Salvador, and Gypsy. And Jim Haney as Sergeant Gabriel. He passed away on April 3rd, 2021 at the age of 81. He was in The Right Stuff, The Peacemaker, and a ton of TV. Now the budget for this film is $1 million. And this is a movie about Jack the Ripper. But it's not going to be the type of movie that you think it's going to be. <laughs> Let me explain. You have John, of course, played by James Spader, who is a... He works at a free cl clinic. He's a doctor. He's very compassionate. He's very into giving back to his neighborhood. Somebody is killing women using the old Jack the, Rith Jack the Ripper method. When a pregnant woman goes into their free clinic, she's a prostitute and she's pregnant and they basically turn her away, he actually feels bad for her and goes to her hotel where she's found dead. And he thinks he's found the killer. So the killer, they give chase. The killer chases him and actually kills him by hanging him, making it look like a suicide. Well, he happens to have a twin brother. John does. <laughs> and John actually sees his brother murdered through a nightmare. And it's up to him to not only clear his brother's name, because his brother is now kind of accused of murdering all these women as Jack the Ripper, but also to find out who killed his brother. And that's basically where you have the story. Now, this is considered a slasher movie, and it is. It's just very light on the slasher part. <laughs> It's more of a movie, it's more of a story, it's more of a thriller, and it is, it's really, really good. The first time I watched this film, because this is another one that I actually don't remember from back in the rental days. First time I watched it, I didn't quite like it as much, because I was expecting this to be a slasher movie. Anything about Jack the Ripper, you're going to expect it to be a slasher. I mean, it's just kind of a given. But when I watched it this time, I had a much greater appreciation for it because the story is so good in this film. The acting is just fantastic. And the blood and gore that's in this film, while there's not a ton of it, it's done extremely well. Definitely check this one out. I... I think this movie is great. It's very underrated. James Spader, in my opinion, is an underrated actor. And Cynthia Gibb is absolutely beautiful. It's a shame that you don't really see her anymore, but yeah, she was gorgeous. Um, yeah. I'm going to pair this up with Jack the Ripper. Now, this is an old film. 
And this is a slasher. None of that proto crap. This is actually a slasher movie from 1958, I believe. Like right around there. It's actually a slasher movie. Very good. Very good. And they both have the whole Jack the Ripper thing in common. Check out Jack's back. Check out Jack the Ripper. And check out Joe's review and see what he picked for a recommendation. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.